Hey right, guys, what's up? Today video, I will be changing the brake, the back, the back brake on the GMC 5500. Loosen up the brake, um, caliper, top and bottom. About to take that off. Take this off. Once I get this off, then I'll be able to take this whole thing off and take the rotor off. I'll separate it from inside. Um, it's kind of like the Ford um, the dually Ford um, Ford F250, 350, 450, and 550. It's kind of like the same setup. I mean, you have to take the whole hub off just to get on the brake and rotor. I mean, the rotor off. Alright, stay tuned for more.
Together, put them in a nice clean area where they don't get greased up. The bearings on. I don't want it to fall on the ground. So I'm going to do some of the tricks right here. look like so I'm gonna need something to pull that thing off I'll press it out I don't know how but I'm gonna have to get it out I can't find no video none zero on how to do this thing but I saw somebody do the front one and it's kind of similar so I'm gonna have to um just go up for what he said uh, for the front one, even though it's so different, but kind of similar enough to uh, help me with this one. All right, man, I hope I can help you guys with this one too. Okay, um, on this one, I'll be taking off a trim for the ABS sensor. Is this thing right here? I got the puller, but um, it's so big. I won't be able to get the puller all the way around it. So I gotta have this teeth hanging in here. I'm just gonna use this tool, uh, the tool. This tool. This tool right here to pull it. So, uh, that's what I'm gonna be using this tool and this tool. I'm gonna just use the gun. Use the gun to knock it real hard. That way I got it easier. Alright, so with the gun, I'm just gonna play with it back and forth until I get it knocked off. Sensor, true. I'm going to set that up. 
and they'll be able to get to the, to, to the T60 from here and that's our T60 in there and this thing is they're hard to open see the torch that I got yeah I might have to put some serious flame on there to get it open all right so before you do this job man just get grab all the tools and together everything on this thing is on there everything is on there on there all right okay i'm using a t60 for this one to open um these in here
all I can say is a blessing to have the tools done, man, to get this bad boy open. Because if I didn't have the right tool then there's no way I would get this thing open today. Look at them thing in there. It's like a lock, like a lock type in there. I can't even touch these nuts. I touch them on the from the cooking. Some more, man. It's like probably can't see the steam, but there's some serious steam coming off of this pot. <laughs> serious. Take it off, it was flush with this. This one, this was flush, so that's what I try to tighten it back up to because I know this is it wasn't that tight. These usually be like tight enough for the building to run freely. 
I'm not too tight for it to so try it out and shell, and shell up. So when I put my these on, make sure you don't tighten them too tight. Alright. I'm gonna switch. I think it's good now. Okay, one side is on there now. 